Philippa and welcome to Inspiration 365, 365 days of inspiration for a great year. Well, don't adjust to your device, this is my real face and before you ask, I'm not ill and I'm not that tired, I am a little bit tired. This is just what my skin looks like with nothing on it. Actually, just to be real with you, I put a tiny bit of concealer around here just to calm it down because I have this skin condition at the moment around my nose, I've had it since I was a kid actually, it's called Pero Pero it's called perioral dermatitis, I'm probably saying that wrong, but I've had it since I was a kid and because I sing songs about being happy in my skin and my battle with self esteem, I just thought it'd be really good to get actually real with you guys and show you what I look like sans the slap and also so we can get ready together and you can see what my routine is and how I enjoy makeup because I really enjoy it, I think it's great, it's great to be able to bring out your features, just have a good time with it, so here it is, let's do this. So firstly, I always put something on my lips because my lips get dry overnight and I think that that can just sit there whilst we're putting the rest of our makeup on. I got this for Christmas from my friend. This is the Cover FX Illuminating Primer. I just put a little bit of this around here just to give it that extra glow. Feeling a little bit dull today. Ugh. Definitely didn't get a full eight hours. Totally forgot to put my special headband on. Yes. Okay, moving on to foundation. Now, if I do a show, so where I've got a lot of makeup on, a lot of glam, normally my makeup artist friend does my eyes first because there's a lot of like drop down. But on a daily basis, I actually, I like the feeling of getting the base done first and then I just usually clean up underneath. So we're gonna do that now. So I use a mixture of these two at the moment. Um, I'm not endorsing either of these. I'm just saying that this is what I use. This is what I found at the drugstore. And then uh, this is Max Factor Lasting Performance Touch Proof Makeup. This is a little bit oily so this is to kind of mattify it high maintenance I know so I just usually mix a couple globules it's a technical term on the back of my hand like so and it just kind of sorts things out <clears throat> then I grab a, a brush like this which is a foundation brush what I like to do is to like shovel that on first and then bop it in with a sponge so I kind of do both it's a weekday afternoon, why not just go crazy? Must use mirror for this bit. So then I just usually like paint it on like so. Look at that, instant relief for the eye. A lot of makeup artists talk about taking makeup down the neck, but I just think they're the people that are responsible for ruining every item of clothing in Topshop before you even buy it. I'm sick of seeing the colour of my makeup on those things. It's totally time to remove the hair above my lip, but I haven't got around to it. It's been Christmas, you let everything go at Christmas. So that's looking okay. Maybe I'll just blend it slightly across the jaw like that. So, then I usually go in with some kind of concealer. Dark circles are not really a huge problem for me, but the redness is a huge problem for me. This is Tarte Shape Tape. This is super light and it's really good for around here to kind of brighten that area up. This I use when I have something that needs to go. The MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. And this one is just for kind of the same thing, but just less heavy. So, watch my concealer skills. So I put the, the lightest one across here, like across my cheekbone. By the way, I'm not saying at all that this is the right way to do your makeup. I'm just letting you know that this is how I do my makeup. I sometimes use it to accentuate this area. Just picture in the comments now, everyone's saying, that's not how you do it. Yeah, it is how I do it actually. Might not be how you do it, but it is how I do it. And the uh, world's not gonna end if I put my concealer in the wrong place, is it? Yish. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this around here to kind of mix all of that in. Yes, starting to look like a millionaire. We actually just put makeup on because we like colouring in. Now I'm going to blend all of that in. You can sort of see it now. Carving out the shape that I create on my face. Sometimes I think even like the way we do our makeup, even if it's not right, it's kind of a part of who we are. I remember watching this makeover show where they got this girl who used to put really pink blusher on, like ragdoll red. And I just kind of thought it was a shame that they stopped her doing that. No one else is doing that, so like, it's it's good, it's kind of individual. I was actually lying earlier when I said I wasn't tired, I am tired. I had five hours sleep last night. There's actually a bit of glitter on my face from yesterday. Obviously not cleansing probably. Okay, now this is a brilliant find. I bought this when I'd run out and I was in an emergency situation and I needed some powder to kind of de-oil when I was at a show and this is the best setting powder I've ever used, bar none. I've used some of the really high-end ones and this 
really good big fat brush like this. This one's from New Look, not expensive. But but bopping that all over. So this skin condition I told you about, it's actually kind of damaged my skin a little bit and it's made it a bit broken and inflamed. So a bit of a shame really, because it sort of makes me look a bit older, but you know, there's worse things in life. Let's move on to brows. So this is a really good dupe. Don't know what that really is short for, duplicate? Something that you can dupe someone into buying. <laughs> anyway, so this Illamasqua brow pomade is really similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, which is really not that easy to get hold of in the UK. So if you're a big fan of Anastasia Beverly Hills, give this one a try. This generation is the generation of brows. You know, kind of like painted on, perfect, brows on fleek. And I've tried it. I tried it at shows. I've had people do that on me. But I just don't like the way it looks on me. This is the thing about makeup. Just because it's on trend doesn't mean it's gonna look good on you. I think it's so much more important to go with what looks right on you and feels comfortable. I prefer a little bit more of a natural look. I love the way those brows look on other people but for me it just doesn't work. So I just use this little spoolie. I've kind of brushed them upwards because I like the way that looks. Then I just literally go in and I just start to sort of define. I don't go for a really painted perfect look. My makeup artist friends when they do brows, when they do eyes, they spend a lot of time on them. I don't always have that much time I want to go with something that I can do in no time at all. Somewhat presentable. I ain't no Kat Von D. Moving on to eyes. So I'm going to do a look today that's based on my hair and my jumper, trying to tie all that in. So I'm going to be using the Naked 3 palette and a little bit of this Kat Von D Metal Crush because this goes really nice on the eye. I think it's designed for highlight, but let's have a go. So first off, I like to cover the whole lid in something really light. Then I'm going to take this shade here, which is called Limit, and I just kind of roll my brush in there, tap it off. One of the keys that my makeup artist friend told me is to build things up slowly so that you don't get those harsh lines. So having done that, I'm going to go in with a slightly darker shade, and I'm going into the crease again, but just a bit lower down. Next little layer, I'm gonna go into a darker shade here, done Limit, then Moona, then I'm gonna go in again to the crease with this darker shade called Dark Side, and I'm just kind of gonna press that with this small flat brush into the outer V and into this little line crease here. Uh, again, you can do whatever you want. You make the rules with your own face. And if this looks uneven or messy, you can always clean it up afterwards. So it's like, it's important not to live in fear. We're closing in on a look now, which is nice. So here goes, I'm gonna go for this shade here because it's a little warmer than this one even though that probably matches my outfit better. Oh, actually, I don't know. Let's swatch them out. Oh, you know what, that just matches really well. Let's go with that one. So I'm gonna do this with my fingertip, my little finger, because it's the smallest one. Yeah, this is the other reason girls like makeup, just because of the packaging. Because it makes us feel like princesses. I'm gonna blend it out a little bit more. And now for something completely terrifying. Eyeliner. Oh, say a little prayer for my wing. Winged eyeliner is totally not my strong point. So basically I just try every day and some days it works and some days it doesn't and the days it doesn't I'm just like, well, I'll just pretend that I'm one of those people who doesn't really care. Not too bad. Ah, oh, it's ruined. I need some new eyeliner. This is the worst I've ever done my eyeliner. Where is Nikki Tutorials when you need her? Oh well, it is what it is. Cleaning all of that up under here. This is why it takes me so long to get ready. Because I do things and then mess it up. We'll have to do it again then. I thought we've gone glitter. We might as well go all the way glitter. MAC glitter. It is just the pig's pajamas, this stuff. It's blindingly awesome. I don't know if this is like advised, but I'm gonna use eyelash glue to put this glitter on. Cause otherwise it just tends to fall down my cheeks and end up all over my cereal. We'll see, we'll see, see, see what happens. It's very nerve wracking all of this makeup business. Especially when you get to this point and you're like, it looks all right, I don't wanna ruin it. And this stuff seems to work best when tacky. Gosh, look at that. <sighs> and the trick is to really just put as much on as you can. This was supposed to be like a look to go to the shops with. Well, if you're a unicorn, you would go to the shops looking like this, wouldn't you? I'm not even sorry. Oh, I didn't see that coming. And the takeaway from today's makeup class is glitter covers a multitude of wrongs. Glitter is like the grace of God. Glitter is the makeup equivalent of love. Okay, maybe I'm going a little bit overboard. What'd I tell you? I don't know what I'm doing. What if we just get all covered in glitter? Not in itself is inspiring, isn't it? Glitspiration365. Mm -hmm. I'm not mad at that glitter. With my eyelashes. What a vlogging disaster. This is probably not gonna look very good, but I'm gonna do it anyway. 
I've seen better, but I've seen worse. Now all that remains is to add a bit of mascara. Why use mascara, you ask? The mascara tends to make these lashes kind of fit in with your lashes better. These lashes are ridiculous. I don't know where I got these. So now for my favourite part, the contour and blush and highlight. I love this bit because I just feel like it brings your face back into some kind of order. This is actually a paintbrush from a craft store. I really like the shape of it and I just thought I'm gonna give it a go. So I'm going into this Too Faced palette. I hope that's alright with everyone. And I'm just gonna stroke up along. It's really nice. All the way back up there to the ear. What do you guys think of my blue hair? Let me know. I'm thinking of going even a shade more blue. Let me know in the comments. Nearly there, guys. This is nearly all over. This highlight, guys, is second to none. It's a rainbow highlight, and it's called Unicorn Hearts, made by unicorns. So I tend to just go into these shades here, and then just pop along there like that. Oh, yeah. Lit. Not doing any of that Cupid's bow thing because I ain't got one. Finally, finally, I'm gonna do my lips. This is my holy grail lip liner, as you can tell. Um, it is by, <laughs> don't even know, because I've sharpened it away. I'm just gonna line and fill in my lips. There we go, not perfect, but. Even if I'm a flawless, gonna show my true colors. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of this Mat Me on by the people who make Mat Me. And there we have it, the finished look. Sparkly, it's unicorn, and it's a bit of fun. And I really just wanted to show you guys the time it takes, the effort it takes, and the fact that, you know, this is one side of me, but the other side of me is just perioral dermatitis. I'm probably saying that wrong. Extremely imperfect, extremely flawed. If flawed is the right word, real is probably a better word. And I just wanted you all to see it, and I hope you find that inspiring. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like this. Give me suggestions, I'm really open. And don't forget to like and subscribe so that I know you enjoyed this. Thank you so much. Remember, there's nothing more important than just being who you are and I want you all to be happy in your skin. So, over and out. I woke up like this. So I've used the Laura Mercier, I've, I've 